What's going on guys, Robbie here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Shockwave. This is the Legends class version of this figure, and um, as you can see, very nicely detailed right off the bat here, um, so I can't wait to get him out of the package. Uh, obviously you combine, combine him, because it is Combiner Wars, to form Bruticus, uh, oddly enough, so in this... Uh, iteration of Transformers. Shockwave has actually created Bruticus. Uh, the Decepticon scientist created Bruticus to pummel the Autobots. So rather than uh, Starscream creating Bruticus in this kind of timeline, it's actually Shockwave, which makes more sense, really. Uh, but you can also combine Shockwave in his uh, vehicle or weapon mode uh, to Onslaught, whom I don't have, but you know, hopefully. At some point I will, but so far this looks like a pretty cool little version of Shockwave, so let's just get him open out of the package and check him out right now. Okay guys, so here we have Shockwave in his vehicle slash weapon mode, and uh, as you can see it's a, it's a fairly nice representation, I, I think. Um, we've got some obvious like robot feet sticking out here, but they, they do a good job to make them look like uh, wings or, or fins or spikes or whatever. Um, I'm a little disappointed that this uh, the little targeting site back here is not clear plastic. It's it's just solid like silvery gray. Uh, but it really that's not a big deal honestly. I've got a nice uh, Decepticon symbol up here uh, right on the top and then another one underneath on what will become the robot chest. And uh, yeah overall it's a nice it's a very tight little uh, vehicle mode and of course you can flip down this little bit here, and you've got a 5mm port here, and a little peg here, and this will let it attach to the back of Bruticus or to the top of Onslaught's vehicle mode. And you can also use this to um, stick this guy right into your uh, your favorite <clears throat> deluxe size figure, or any figure basically that has a 5mm port uh, available. So you can see it's a little big here, but uh, you get the idea. So he can be held as a weapon, uh, both, you know, by your normal uh, robots. And, of course, you pop this out and uh, just stick it right in the uh, combined mode hand as well. So you can have your combined figure uh, holding on to Shockwave also. So really, really cool. I don't have Bruticus yet, unfortunately, um, but as soon as I do, I'll probably add him into that review uh, so you guys can get an idea of what he looks like combined together. So transformation is quite simple. Um, we're just going to flip that up for now. We're going to go ahead and separate the back end of this thing, and these are going to become the arms. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and accordion these out, like so. There you go. And that's pretty much the arms done already. They don't really have to have anything else done with them. Uh, we're going to take this whole section and just flip it back. And that's actually going to come out and down, just like so. And then rest against the back so it, it works very nicely like that. And then the legs... We're going to split these here, and this is something you want to be careful of, because the the um, hips are on ball joints, and they actually, uh, yeah, you can see just like that. But you just put that back together. The hips actually will rotate up and kind of sit in place up here against the body. Um, but it's a little bit stiff, first of all. And uh, on this one, the ball joint is just a smidge loose on that guy. So there you go. That uh, that does it a bit better. And unfortunately, the, th the thing to kind of uh, keep in mind is I had a bit of trouble with this because this is not listed in, in the instructions. It shows, it shows you uh, putting the legs up like this, and they won't connect like that. Um, so you have to put the ball joints down. You have to l rotate the legs down. Um, and I, I figured it out because I saw that there was a what looked like a rotating joint there. 
Uh, but it's not listed in the instructions, and it was very stiff in the beginning, so I was very concerned about, about uh, breaking it. But then you just rotate the, the legs around like so, and you flip the feet down, and there you have Shockwave in robot mode. So, very, very cool. And I, I, I love how he works with the uh, deluxe class figures. Unfortunately, once you get into uh, his robot mode, then it's a little, the, the size is a little bit off. It doesn't, doesn't quite work, um, <laughs> in my opinion, but still, it's a very nice little representation of Shockwave. And uh, you got some nice paint apps going on here. You got a little yellow for the eyes silver on his little ear antenna thing uh, his head is on a ball joint you get some decent range of motion out of that as well uh, the arms go up and down on this ball joint or this ball joint stalk and then just swivel joint here so you can get some nice range of motion out of that uh, he does have one gun arm which is a ball jointed elbow and it is a double joint because of the transformation joint here, but that really effectively doesn't do too much. But he's also got a 5mm port for a fist. So if you have two of these guys, Shockwave can wield himself. Uh, no waist articulation, but you do have the uh, ball jointed hips, which allows, you know, outward range of motion. And of course, a thigh swivel and a very, very deep knee bend, uh, which is pretty cool. Lots of nice posability out of that, as well as the uh, very nice foot rock here. So you can get some very uh, deep kind of leg poses, should you so desire, out of uh, Shockwave here. Uh, very, very cool. Very nice figure. I really do like him quite a lot. Uh, he's a real nice figure to just like, have on your desk and mess around with. Uh, I love the clear purple. There are actually, looks like some black paint apps in the middle of his chest there. On the back you can see there's just the kind of gray plastic from uh, from before. But uh, it, it really doesn't, it doesn't uh, add too much backpack to the figure. So it is overall a nice clean looking figure. You do get obviously hollow uh, legs from the back. But this is a legend sized toy so... There's not too, too much you can really ask of it. Uh, one more quick size comparison. Here he is with the, um, what is it, X-Ray from uh, <laughs> whatever that company is, Warbitron. <laughs> so here he is with Warbitron's X-Ray figure. So you can see uh, quite a difference in size and uh, coloration as well. But uh, this one's meant to be kind of a do-it-yourself model kit, where this is a fully completed figure, and actually really looks the part. This uh, I'm very impressed with the nice, you know, the paint apps are nice. Uh, he's got black inside the head as well as the yellow on his eye. Uh, I think they did a great job with this. They really put a lot of love and effort into it, and I'm very pleased with how it came out. So, very very cool. I'm anxious now to get Bruticus, and like I said, once I do, I'll definitely add him into the. Uh, into the review so you guys can see it all together but there he is legend scale shockwave from the combiner wars line so that is going to do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching as always if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more uh i should have more transformers coming real soon so stick around for that in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now